สมดักอาเกะมหาสนาปดายเดกโจฮุนไซน์ Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia Excellencies ASEAN Foreign Ministers His Excellency d a t o l o m Jokhoi Secretary General of ASEAN Ministers Distinguished Guests Ladies and Gentlemen It is my great pleasure and honor to welcome you all to this 55th ASEAN Foreign Ministers Meeting and a related meeting under the theme ASEAN Act, addressing challenges together in our beloved city of Phnom Penh. It is remarkable that we are able to meet face to face for the first time in two years since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Our gathering here today reflects the success of our collective effort to overcome and recover from the crisis and its adverse effect on public health, social, economic, and the daily livelihood of the people. Allow me here to sincerely congratulate our Brunei colleagues and friends, Dr. Erevan Yusuf, for successfully steering our organization through a very difficult year, to say the least. Cambodia's chairmanship of ASEAN this year underscores the importance of ASEAN's spirit of togetherness and a strong sense of solidarity to achieve our common goals. Moreover, it further highlights the strength of ASEAN's centrality and unity in addressing regional challenges and enhancing ASEAN contribution to regional and global peace, stability, security, and sustainable development. Throughout the years, ASEAN has been able to transform itself from a loose arrangement to a close-knitted and rule-based organization. ASEAN has navigated through the constantly changing geopolitical landscape to emerge as one of the most prominent and successful regional organization, all the while making great strides in advancing its credibility and relevance in world affairs. As an open platform for constructive dialogue and consultation, ASEAN has become a vibrant, dynamic, and outward looking regional institution, thriving on the key principles of peaceful coexistence, friendly cooperation, non-interference, mutual respect for independence, sovereignty, equality, and territorial integrity as enshrined in the ASEAN Charter and the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia. As we mark the 55th anniversary of ASEAN, it is indeed with great pride that more and more countries are looking to ASEAN to partner with in the building up of an open and inclusive rule-based regionalism. This afternoon, six countries will sign the instrument of accession to the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia, bringing the number of state parties to the treaty to 49. Some like that, your Prime Minister, dear Minister, colleagues, dear friends. As I said last night at our welcome dinner 
Every year, ASEAN has to deal with challenges of different types and level, but never before, never like this year, never like this moment, have we been confronted at the same time with so many perils for the region and the world at large. During the next three days, we will engage in a series of important ministerial meetings where we will have the opportunity to deliberate on key issues pertaining to the progress made in our ASEAN community building efforts, the way forward to recover stronger from the COVID-19 pandemic, our cooperation and partnership with external partners and on regional and international issues, especially the many pressing security challenges that could destabilize our regional peace and stability if we are not able to handle them properly. I hope that our open and constructive exchanges will enable us to chart the course of our future cooperation in order to attain the priorities and deliverables as set out in Cambodia's ASEAN Chairmanship. I am confident that with your active support, we will make this AMM and related meeting a great success in the true spirit of let's act together. Guide, guided by the ASEAN motto, one vision, one identity, one community, Cambodia as the ASEAN chair will continue to steer the process of consolidating efforts internally within ASEAN and with ASEAN dialogue partners and external partner to achieve our goals of building an ASEAN community that is peaceful, cohesive, interconnected, resilient, and as a community of opportunities. Today, this morning, we will have the extreme honor to hear more from Sundaik Daikyo Hun Sen, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia, who will share with us his insight and perspective on the development in ASEAN and how Cambodia would undertake ASEAN chairmanship moving forward. I once again welcome you to Cambodia and wish you all a very pleasant stay. I thank you very much.